That's how I cut out these crosses that I do. These are some I cut yesterday. Then these are the ones I just yesterday and the ones I did today. So I thought I'd show you. I got these three pack metal cookie cutters from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember how much I paid for them, but I'll put a link in the bottom. This recipe here. I can I'll put in the description box also because it's really still it's been I made this Saturday night and it's, I like it because it's very pliable still so I can use this and I'll show you what I do with the leftover soap after I cut it so I'm gonna try to do this with one hand so please bear with me and I I kind of you see other crosses I've already cut out as guides on where to cut the other ones. And this is let me get I'm gonna get it even here a second. So I'm, I said I'm trying to do it one hand, so please bear with me. I get it situated straight here. See this is the leftover so I have so far. I try to keep them off the edge as much as I can. Okay, this one should go down with no problem. Okay, what I do first is I check the size, get the sharp side first, pick out the, try to get as pretty a design as I can without getting into the other ones and not get too close on that edge there. I'm guessing. See, these here are going to be on the edge no matter what. Hmm. Okay. that tiny bit. Okay. Then what I do is I just I start with my palm and just push it all the way down. I'm sure it's completely covered. Like so. Then I get my knife I have here and I have to do this with two hands. So I'm gonna pause you. What I do is I just take the knife. I have here and I just cut along the edge of the cookie cutter and let me do that and I'll be right back okay see I just take the ends I have left after I cut it this is what I have cut so what I do is I just take it and I just peel off the excess around the cookie cutter as good as I can get it I have a his hands got messed up the other day, so it's kind of hard to do. But and I think I just lost my baby. And um, so I have to try to do it with this hand because this is on the only hand I have that I use the most. I don't have Just peel it off. I'm sorry, but I can't see it all the way. I'm trying. I ordered a tripod. I'm hoping it'll get here soon because I'm trying to show you guys this stuff with one hand. Not how I can't do it like I should be.
get all that. Now, you notice I have all this extra past the cookie cutter. What do I do first is I'll push it. That's why I make sure it all gets in there nice and good. And, um, this, all this extra you see here, I use my knife and I slice, I slice it off. And I thought, I need two hands to do that. So I'm going to pause you while I do that real quick and I'll come back and show you. Okay, this is what it looks like after I cut it. So I do is I just kind of go along this, well, get like so. You see this? I make sure I dry pretty good, good enough. And then, I just, I just take, I push against the edge of my thing because it's the easiest. And I just, just like that, just fill it right off. And then I just take my fingers and smooth, smooth it out before I put it in the drying rack. I, try, I clean up a t little bit, but normally I just wait until they get ready to be packaged, and then I'll I'll wash them and then really clean them up. But it's just there. And I always add a little more glitter before I put them in. Before I stick it on my sh my drying shelves in the shed. But that's what it looks like. It. That's all I do. I hope. Focus very well. That's all. It, that's all. It is to it. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. I just want to show you how much soap I have left after I made all these. This is how. And then I'll show you what I do with all these scraps after I cut them. These are the soaps. So I just cut out, and let me show you what I do with the leftover soap. Okay, it's not my duckies. I need my duckies. I put it in the mold, these molds I have lying around here. Like this one, I can't wait to see. That's what I look like. Then I got these back, these back here that I'm going to pipe on and put some more ducks on. Then these are some other ones. This I have a project I'm going to try to do. But, but I'm hoping it'll turn out. But these are my little dookies that we did, that Riley made. He made all these little ducky soaps. Some of them have just brown milk and pour them because they decided they don't want to stick. Then I got this one over here that just doesn't want to stick, period. That's why I just do it together away. Okay, guys. Thank you. Oh.